Welcome to Geojit Spotlight. India's Central Bank Reserve Bank of India is set to raise interest rate again. There is a wide consensus that RBI will raise the rates at September 30th meeting. Geojit senior market strategist Sony Mathis joins us to share his views on tomorrow's meeting. Welcome Mr. Sony Mathis. Uh, interest rates are uh, increasing in all major economies and the Indian rupee is continuing its weakness against dollar. What would be RBI's next move? So a lot has happened uh, since the last uh, MPC meeting, uh, you know, retail inflation has gone up, uh, the economic growth has missed estimates, crude oil prices come down because of expected lower demand, the rupee has also seen a sharp depreciation. So all these factors combined together means that, uh, you know, the RBI uh, a rate hike is inevitable. So RBI has no other option but to increase uh, the rates. Uh, the economists are expecting a 35 to 50 basis point rate hike with the majority of them expecting a 50 50 uh, basis point hike uh, in the uh, coming meeting. So uh, the stance is also expected to shift to neutral and uh, you know uh, so RBI you know we've seen in the recent past that they have already increased it by 140 basis points now with another round of expected rate hikes. The RBI is front loading the rate tightening cycle and uh, this is expected to address the macro uh, stability concerns also. So uh, rate hike is uh, expected uh, by the uh, uh, economists as such. A 50 basis point rate hike is what is expected. So how the MPC decision set to announce on September 30th will impact markets? Um, so uh, this is expected by the markets. A 50 a rate hike is expected by the uh, markets and you know barring no surprises uh, you know it is expected to have a short term impact if any at all in the markets. But uh, any surprises on the upside will definitely have a negative impact. Uh, the personal feeling is that uh, I think uh, you know the investors will focus more on the RBI's commentary regarding uh, you know the uh, inflation uh, expectation and also future rate hikes. What we've seen is that you know um, uh, in the recent rate hikes that we've seen the transmission has happened satisfactorily and usually transmission happens with a lag of two to three quarters. So uh, the expectation is that MPC will now put a pause on any further rate hikes so that they can observe the impact of the recent action that they have done. So any pause in so that commentary will be more uh, focused uh, on by the investors and that can have an impact on the uh, stock market performance in the uh, coming days. Which are the sectors to take hit by uh, RBI decision? Um, uh, when we are talking about the sectors that can be impacted, you know, uh, companies and individuals alike will be affected by any sort of uh, rate hikes. Uh, you know, borrowing costs cost can increase uh, for companies and individuals also. So, uh, for individuals, everything gets pricier, you know, the cost of goods and services uh, can increase and that can impact their spending power also. So, uh, you know, any cost increases people might decide to forego, you know, or postpone their buying decisions and that can have an impact on the luxury products segment, which, you know, people might feel, okay, they can buy it at a later date. So that can impact the sales of luxury products. When it comes to companies also, uh, uh, you know, uh, when you look at capital in intensive industries like uh, capital goods or infrastructure, they can be more impacted by a rate hike, while uh, sectors like IT and related services might be less impacted by the uh, rate hikes thing. Uh, uh, we were talking about borrowing costs increasing for individuals. So uh, the real estate sector also might be uh, directly impacted as a result of this rate hikes because uh, home loans gets costlier. Uh, other loans also, other types of loans like vehicle loans, educational loans, credit cards, everything gets costlier. So that can have an impact. So sectors related to all this might uh, be affected. Uh, but we've seen that, you know, in the last one week, uh, Sensex has uh, gone down by around 4%. So maybe uh, more companies might appear to be a good buy, you know, uh, because their uh, prices have gone down. So um, if everything else, a direct impact, uh, on these sectors might be limited because the Sensex has already uh, come down. The prices of most of these companies will already be down. Uh, direct impact is expected to be less, but uh, uh, you know these sectors might be more or less impacted by the price uh, hikes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.